So my name is Mark Mills. My company is Mills Design. For me, this is my favorite CFD image ever. It's the CNC 30. It's on a VMG downwind angle in 18 knots of breeze. The first time ever I've really looked at a water pattern coming off of a hull at speed, and you can, you can really see the wave itself curling over and, and coming down. I, maybe it doesn't impress anybody else, but it, it, <laughs> it was awesome. You can see the, the nose is up, the bow is up. It's going to be awesome to sail in that configuration. I was thrilled. <laughs> but when you looked at the CNC30 development, what were our goals? Clearly, if you're going to do a new one design in this market, you, it's got to be fast. It's got to be cool. Otherwise, you've got nothing to sell. But in particular, the, the themes from the buyers, the potential market, were absolutely uniform. And, and it's not just at this size, it's at all sizes. Owners coming to us saying, I can't get enough crew. I hate trying to find crew. I've got to get 12 sandwiches made. These guys, they <laughs> leave the boat as soon as we hit the dock. I got, don't know any of them. They don't talk to me. Re repeatedly, the theme is, please can we go sailing and have fun with less crew. The next one is, I'm, I, a number of the current successful one design classes are very high performance and they are extremely athletic. And you start weeding out the number of people who can enjoyably sail these boats. If they're not between 18 and 38, they don't have some athletic skills, they've got no stamina, nobody, you know, that's what you gotta have to be able to sail these boats aggressively. And who wants to go out there and get beat and beat up and feel sore and so we needed to make the boat somehow a little uh, attractive to a wider selection of sailors, let's put it that way. <laughs> and basically, uh, the days of enjoying huge amounts of complexity and cost are over. We need to keep this thing clean and simple and not a headache. So we, we know that to compete with the existing successful one designs, it's got to be a light boat. It's got to have enough power, enough sail area to be exciting, especially good in light airs. North Sales here, there's a number of their images of their CFD work, looking at various size sail plans, trying to optimize the sail plan to get the right combination of boat and rig to work, not just on the East Coast here, predominantly light airs, but also in places with more breeze. The deck plan and the styling, I think there's an expectation we know what a, a modern, sexy one design needs to look like. I, I hope we got close. Here's the key thing. To make these requirements happen of sailing with less people and sailing with less athletic people, we need somehow to make the boat pleasant to sail without the stability that those people offer. The key thing about this boat is adding stability to the hull shape above the waterline so that when the boat's upright, it's got a very similar underwater shape to any other boat. And the, the FAR 30 would be one good example of a boat with a narrow water line, very low wetted surface in the upright condition. And you can see a hull model of something like that on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you can see a hull shape. They both have identical static upright water lines. But you can see how much more boats in the water on the right hand image. <clears throat> and that's providing stability. As, as that lured part of the hull immerses, it's providing an awful lot of stability and that's helping reduce the burden on not needing nine people hanging out over the rail. Fundamentally, similar picture to the previous one, just in the hull lines format. On the section plan there, you can see on the left-hand side is the CNC 30 lines. On the right-hand side would be a more generic um, Melges 32, FAR 30 style of, of shape. And I think you can see clearly here on that Sorry, I won't even try and find the pointer button, but you're looking at this area up here. You can see how much more stability is going to be in that segment of the boat when it heels over. But look at the red water lines. They're almost identical. And the, the narrower water line aft, which is what you look at when you look at a wide boat aft and you think, boy, it's going to be draggy in the light, it's going to be sticky. The narrower version is the powerful CNC 30 hull. So our goal here is to produce a boat that it can be fast and effective in the light with low wetted surface and then gain stability as it heals. That's it. <laughs>